Sort my shit out Sunday. <laughs> Me and Alfie have only hugged each other since March. I did not think it would be like this. Sparkly fish and chips. <laughs> which I've literally just thought in my head. <laughs> sort my shit out Sunday. <laughs> Does anyone ever have any of those where you're like, I've got so many things that I have been putting off and putting off and I need to sort them out, tidy them, clean them, put them away. So that's the sort of day I'm gonna have today. I apologize in advance if this is not the most festive. Actually, one of the things I wanna do is finish the conservatory tree because I haven't done that yet and that is very important so that's first on my list so that is that is festive that's fairly festive the rest is like tidying sorting presents I want to make the kitchen all nice I want to put the wreath on the front door lots of little bits and pieces. I'm not gonna bother with a full face of makeup today um, because it's a, sort, it's a sort my shit out Sunday, but I just wanted to put a little something on. Alfie and I have just ordered a roast dinner <laughs> on delivery to Poppy and Sean's house. It's actually totally Poppy's fault. I'm gonna blame her for it. She called us at midday and she was like, Guys, there is a roast dinner on Deliveroo and it looks good and we're gonna get it. What are you saying? We were like, well, we don't have any plans for lunch. We haven't really got much in the fridge. We're probably gonna end up getting one too. So they've ordered theirs, they've already eaten it. And they said it was really good. So we've now just ordered one and we'll just go and pick it up and see what it's like. I've never ordered a roast dinner from anywhere before, like to your home, like as a takeaway. But they said it was really good, so I'm excited. If you are Brighton and Hove based, um, it's Roast Host, I think, is the name of it. Now, do I do my brow? Like, am I done? Maybe a little bit of, a little bit of blush. See, this is where This is where I literally just said, yeah, no, I'm not really gonna bother with too much makeup. And here I am plastering my face with makeup. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I don't even think I'll bother with mascara. I think I'm literally just gonna do this. Maybe I'll put a little bit of the Hourglass Arch brow volumizing gel through my brows, but not actually fill them in. There we go. Right, now I need a little lip oil do i have a lip oil it started out as a really gray rainy day and now the sun is coming out look at that lovely everything just feels nicer when the sun's out okay first things first then i'm going to start on that conservatory tree while we wait for our roast to get delivered found my lip oil it's the charlotte's magic lip oil crystal elixir Alexia, Alexia. Lovely, right. Put some tunes on. Look at this mess. I need to sort this out as well. Tree first though. One thing at a time, Zoe. Just need to add a few more baubles to it, but 
I like that tree. I call it like our higgledy piggledy tree where we just pick up decorations as and when through the years, add them all on and then in years to come we'll just have this collection of really random Christmas ornaments. I like it. When I get back I'll show you some of the newer additions to the tree that I purchased this year which I'm very happy with. But yeah, as I said we're in the car, we're on our way to pick up our roast. I'm excited. I guess it's kind of like a late lunch early dinner um, but isn't that the normal time most people have a Sunday roast? Because it's like Sunday lunch, isn't it? That's what they call it. Alfie still can't speak because his ulcer is... I can, you, I'm just trying not to. <laughs> if you're wondering why <laughs> Alfie's like deadly silent, his ulcer is so bad. Honestly, today I feel like we've had like two conversations. It feels really weird. We're just li driving along listening to a podcast in silence like... And I'm such a chatterbox, I just feel like I have so much to say. Um, but Alfie's doing a lot of... You can just <laughs> vlog loads instead. Yeah, I'll just speak to you guys today. <laughs> I'm really good, I have a special skill. And let me know if any of you have this special skill. If A, I think I'm very good at knowing what Alfie's about to say anyway, before he even says it. Like most of the time, I know exactly what he's about to say, just from like a look on his face, or like a slight eye movement or anything. I just know what he's gonna say. If I'm not sure, all he has to do is go mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and I'll know what he's saying most of the time. I was just about to go, should we test it? And then I was like, no, because I'll definitely have absolutely no idea what you're saying at this point. When it makes sense in a conversation, I'll know what he's saying. So it's not been too bad. I feel like we've been quite good at communicating. We found our ways. Such a nice evening. I thought it was gonna be rainy and horrible today and the sun broke through and it's so nice. I think that's one of the things that I found so weird about this year and I was watching quite a lot of old vlogs this morning. In fact, I sent one to Alfie and I put one in our family group chat called something like nine minutes of Alfie annoying Poppy or something. It was really funny. There's just been so much less friendship interactions this year and that's so weird to me. Like. I've seen Mark like probably just the amount like five times the amount I can count on one hand and that's so weird because we obviously normally see each other so much and we go out and do lots of things that we really enjoy and that's been a really hard aspect of the year I think is that we've not been able to have like loads of friends in the garden cooking pizzas and like obviously we've stuck to the six um, but I feel like Alfie and I are such social people and I love hosting and I've just really noticed a lack of like me being able to host or... Right now, probably and Sean are getting Sunday roasts. Sunday, yeah, but, we can't eat but we're together. not eating it together. It's so true. And those moments really like fuel my happiness. Like I, obviously lots of things fuel my happiness, but being able to spend quality time with friends and family and it not feeling like, don't get too close, we're gonna break a rule, or like, like, it's so, even when there is six of you, you know you're being, you know, careful, there's still just something so weird about not being able to be like, yeah, just come round, we're, we're having people in the garden. Else other than each other. Isn't just that so hello. weird? Like, me and Alfie have only hugged each other since March. Like, that is just, so weird to Normally me. Normally we're going like orgy parties and stuff. No we don't. <laughs> I was just thinking that this morning and how I'm sure a lot of you watching this will be feeling the same. Especially for someone like Poppy as well because she's such a tactile person. I wouldn't say I'm fully a tactile person but I think with people that I love and trust and have really close relationships with I'm definitely tactile. But Poppy, for somebody like her who is so tactile and like relies on touch and like feeling like close to somebody. It must be so weird to just not be able to do that. Like even the other day when we were in town with Steve and Alexia, Steve almost went to like pat me on the arm. Then he was like, oh, oh my God, I just nearly patted you on the arm. Like, I wonder how once this is all done, if we'll have some sort of like inability to be as tactile as we were before as humans. Yeah, and children, because they're seeing it a lot less. Um, like, if you were three now... 
and your chunk of your life will be living within these boundaries. One third of your life if you're a three year old, pretty the much. First third or two thirds, you don't even know. Exactly. Yeah, it's just weird, so weird, but I don't know. I just really like being around people. It makes me very happy. And as much as I also love being around Alfie, and he makes me the most happy, there's definitely like something missing in that like, right now we would be like, let's all get a rose together, and we're not. Um, so yeah, there's my, <laughs> there's my car rambling. Let's get, our, let's get our roast. We're home, we're getting the roast out. Look, it's coming in a box. <gasps> That's so good. Oh, it's probably better if you get it out. I haven't even taken my coat off yet, I'm so excited. <gasps> oh my goodness. I can't even tell you how excited I am to eat this. So in the box, we've got like the most amount of roast potatoes I've ever seen, Yorkshire pudding, some veg, the chicken, and some cauliflower cheese. And then we also ordered some stuffing, some carrots, and some pigs wrapped in bacon, and some extra Yorkshires, but I think they got confused and gave us more greens, which is probably healthier. <laughs> and then gravy. Doesn't this look good? This is. I'm never gonna eat all those potatoes, holy crap. Going in with the gravy. Oh. Bloody hell. I didn't really know what to expect from a roast that can be delivered on delivery, but I am very impressed. I did not think it would be like this. This is better than what I could ever make, times 10. Yeah, me too. Mmm, stuffing. Here is the fully finished tree in all its glory with all its reflections that make it look like there's three trees <laughs> some new additions and some old favorites this is an old favorite of mine the festive coffee machine this one is courtesy of paper chase this one is a fairly new ad addition i bought this one when we went to new york uh, at christmas time this time last year it's like a little sundae with chopped nuts and whipped cream and a cherry on top and a little glittery spoon. This one's Alfie's. I bought this for him in New York as well, I think. Did I? I can't remember when I bought this for Alfie, but I do remember I put it in your stocking at Christmas time. I gave it to you as a present at Christmas. A little soy sauce, because Alfie puts soy sauce on like everything. Big old beefy burger, that's a paper chase one. And then, to show you some of my newest Christmas tree additions, this is um, a sparkly fish and chips on a proper ceramic plate and some newspaper. How cute is that? That's a paper chase one. Paper chase make amazing um, ornament decorations. Then another paper chase. This is a Christmas sandwich. Turkey feast, ho ho, hold the mayo. <laughs> So a little Christmas sandwich one. And then, oh yeah, this one, this is the other one. A fry up in a little pan, bit of, bit of everything. <laughs> Full English, basically. There we go, so those are my new ones for this year. And the others have all been there a while. This one I also like a lot. This one's Paper Chase too. Little caravan with lights on it. So there we go. Full of the most random things. Some food, some really not food, <laughs> but to be honest, quite a lot of them are food. Oh, and I forgot to say, it's actually very high and I don't think you can see it, but that hot air balloon is also a new one and that was Paper Chase as well. I just said to Alfie, I just feel like today's vlog's not gonna be that long because um, I just, the day's just gone. And then I was like, let me look at some of my old vlogmases and see like how long they used to be because I put so much pressure on myself to make my videos as long as possible. 
and I don't know when that started but I know a lot of you like a long vlog <laughs> I think I've just always got that in the back of my mind that anything that's like under half an hour is gonna be like some huge disappointment and I was like let me check 2013 so many of my videos are like five minutes six minutes eight minutes in fact most of them as well. vlog, most of my vlogmas videos from 2013 are under 10 minutes and I was like oh my god and now i've got stuck in a hole of watching some of these videos so this one's called biggest boy band fan which i'm gonna assume is about you and um we just both sound so young like i can't get my head around how young we sound i sound like a little girl it's just crazy also it's mad that you're going from your dad's house driving to my mum and dad's house like neither of us had moved out yeah out, isn't it and yeah we're just gonna have some dinner now your grandma's coming around yeah my grandma's coming over yeah and alfie is gonna right, finish his <laughs> your grandma's video, coming around video, your grandma's see, coming around I'm still kind of jet lagged yeah, <laughs> i do love to talk about jet lag don't i <laughs> i kind of feel like watching a scary film scary film yeah not a christmas film no, a scary one. Oh, Sorry. not much changes. <laughs> you don't call me that anymore. Before you can end your blog. Do you? Yes. Little yes. one. No, you don't. You call Nala You're little one. Yeah, it's changed. Oh, I'm talking to you about Something my dream. <laughs> for a pumpkin spice latte bath and body works and this isn't actually a tom dixon but i just liked the copper it's a little etsy zoella one in there oh that's hot <laughs> lovely and clean and tidy and cozy that'll help your tongue these are so good you move frozen yogurt this is my favorite flavor Alfie always goes for a tropical. This just tastes like a Solero. Yeah, it and does. Healthy. Yeah. It's genuinely healthy. I mean, probably not what you want to be eating on a December evening, but you know, <laughs> still tasty. Mm. Alfie and I are having a little game of Quirkle. <laughs> Look where Nala decides to lie down. <laughs> are you guarding them? What are you doing? You trying to play? She's staring at them. Do you think she thinks it's food? Is she trying to work out if she can eat it? What's up? She wants her attention. Look, she's like, they're not giving me any attention, so I'm gonna lay as close to the tiles as possible so they have no choice. You're so funny. Zoe's, Zoe's getting old. I'm getting old. Listen to my joints when I get up. Ready? Oh, it, just, it clicks over and over. Where Every is that? time. Do it again. <laughs> oh. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Try oh, again. No, you don't say knock, knock, knock. Try with straight legs. Knock, knock. Straight legs? Yeah. <laughs> I can't leave all of it. <laughs> Go on. Just put your nose. Just put your nose on your knees. I'm so unfair. Just try. 
That's li that's not you trying. Yeah. Okay, no, let me try really. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not great. You're joking. I swear on my but life. But your back's not leaning forward like this. I can't lean it forward. No, but tilt, tilt here at your hips. Okay, but I'm lean not bend my legs. No, no, no. No, but look, literally. <laughs> like, I'm not very flexible anymore at all. But like this, rather than you're like this. Here, like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah. That's as far as <laughs> Can you touch your toes? Oh my god, ow! <laughs> I think I just pulled something. Wait, come on, do this. Then you'll get them. Uh, got it. Cha, cha, cha. Got it, got it, got it, got it. If I just carried on doing that, would I get bendy? Would mm, I get flexible? I don't know. I can only do it when I stretch for it. I can't do it like that. Yeah, you can. Go on, just go. Okay. <laughs> I can't even tell. It's the sort of pain that makes me feel sick. Like I feel like my muscles are going to snap. Oh my god, I'm like. In your gym shot leggings. <laughs> In my what? Your gym shot leggings. I put this outfit on for a sorting day. Three, two, one. I should be able to do that standing up, leaning down. Yeah. Because I just did it this way. Mm -hmm. Is that right? So shall I try it? So I should be able to touch my feet from here. Is it harder standing up or not? I can't speak much. My mouth is in so much pain. Oh, I think I better get to I think I'll just had your back snap. Can you see what I'm growing? What do you mean? Just in time for Christmas, I hope. Can you? No. You can't. You don't know what I'm talking about. No. Yeah. This spot. That's a nice new addition to Vlogmas. Um, Alfie and I are doing a little bit of Christmas shopping, obviously online, which apart from that little bit in town we did the other day is where we've done most of our Christmas shopping so far. Not going too badly actually. Alfie's very good at buying presents for people as you know. Um, and we're just doing a little bit of research into a couple of presents. That's my favorite bit is researching. Yeah, Alfie loves like finding the perfect gift of something specific if that makes sense. Because I feel like when someone says, oh I really want a such and such <laughs> yeah a camera lens for christmas or i don't know one thing that i've said that i really i really want is a new knife for, for chopping it's looking into that and finding the best one that could work for that person to be honest i always think the best bit of christmas is gift giving i love giving people presents we're we're nowhere near done i wouldn't say <laughs> We've still got a little bit of time. Have any of you finished and wrapped your Christmas presents for the year? Um, I actually know quite a few people who are completely done and wrapped and ready to go. Um, and every year... Your mum and better done in like jam. Every year, I think I'm going to be really prepared this year and I'm going to be done, wrapped and ready to go in November. And I never am. I was on um, dog present duty earlier <laughs> so i found some fun things for the dogs um which i'm excited to look into this sunday's been pretty chilled um i carried on doing a little bit of tidying tidy house tidy mind got the fire on got jamie's christmas food love programs like this they always make me think maybe i could cook everything for christmas from scratch and then i never do <laughs>
No, I think we did like one year where we did everything from scratch, didn't we? And that was just whoever's job it is who doesn't get a day. Yeah. They're just cooking all day. I like watching other people cooking up these incredible Christmas dishes. Just makes me hungry and we've already eaten. <laughs> Someone needs to do like a how to cook your Christmas meal in under 90 minutes and then I'm game. The whole thing in Prepping under 90. Everything. Because people put like... People put days into the prep. Yeah, people like soak things in wine for four days before. Like, come on now. I know. Come but on. I think those people love cooking, right? I do for 90 minutes. <laughs> Alfie's cut off point is 90, 90 minutes. That's generous. Look, Jamie, Alfie's giving you a new idea. Your next. 60 minute Christmas meal. <laughs> your next cookbook. <laughs> so instead of your five ingredients, Alfie would like a Christmas recipes in under. You said 90 and then under you changed it to 60. With five ingredients. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> what a challenge. We did see that really lovely brioche recipe. Brioche oh and camembert recipe. Or was it brie? I don't remember. We're going to try and do that. That's our evening. Just having a little chill on the sofa. Buying lots of Christmas presents. I've seen quite a few of you asking me to do ideas for um, a boyfriend or a partner. Or a male family member. Um, the only problem is, I feel like if I do that, I'm sort of giving away... Alfie's presence. Maybe it's something when when you can talk, we can sit down and do together because I think it's better for the ideas to come from Alfie and then I'm not giving anything away, if that makes sense. Because Alfie will have some great ideas and I actually find Alfie quite hard to buy for just because I feel like I've already bought him so many things. I, I do genuinely have some quite good ideas and I do think Alfie's probably got them all up here as well. So maybe we'll do that in another video when Alfie hasn't got an ulcer the size of like my thumbnail on the side of his tongue. I'll probably end this video here, you know. It's been a cosy Sunday. I really hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that you've also had a really lovely restful weekend. And as I said, let me know if you've done all your Christmas shopping so far. Um, and if you have any ideas for Alfie, leave them in the comments because I don't think he'll read my comments, but I will. <laughs>